Hi, this is Ron from 724 Support TV. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a Supermicro 1U Atom server. Today we're going to include, in addition to the Atom server, 4 gigabyte of SODEM memory from Crucial, two Western Digital 320 gigabyte black 2.5 inch disks, a Supermicro 2.5 inch double bracket for holding them in a three and a half inch slot. These, by the way, uh, in addition to fitting well in a super micro server, are also cheaper than the aftermarket version. And an additional SATA power combo cable um, to power the second drive in this box. User's manual, the server itself, a CD of drivers that we've never actually used in deploying many of these, the aforementioned too long power cord, and some hardware. This is important. Um, <clears throat> two bags of hardware one that in deploying many many of these we have used zero times and if you need some of these let us know we have lots and lots of them but this is important and i'm going to show my little tiny camera here these are special tiny flat-headed phillips screws to hold the hdd it says hdd to the bottom of the case. If you're using this in a rack, you need these screws to hold the server to hold the drive in. Don't lose these, don't throw them away, they're important. So the server front is very plain. Air in from the cold aisle, a power reset button, network, two network status lights, hard drive power, and oops, something went wrong light. That's typical for the front of a server and imagine a stack of dozens or 40 of these you'd want to be able to find those lights but there's no USB there's no anything else on the front just a way to get cold air in from the cold aisle because it's a proper data center server besides little small side vents typically you have this much area um, about an inch on either side 25 millimeters to get air in but the primary air intake is here from the front, which should be the cold aisle. The back, toward the hot aisle, there's a lot more stuff, um, some of which is critically important to a server and some of which is not. This is the power supply fan. There's no case fans here. Um, power, standard power. The PS2 connectors for keyboard and mouse that you're unlikely to use. USB 2 adapters, which again is the only ones you're going to need since you'll hook them up probably only for um, initial configuration. A serial port connector. We've never used them, but if you're going to need to attach the con a console server, you would use those. A uh, VGA adapter, which is all the video you're ever going to need out of here. Um, and a pair of gigabit ethernet adapters. This is a server and so for any use like a firewall, a router, a bastion host, you need more than one and one um, slot for an adapter on a backwards riser. That's the box. 
So here's the inside of the box. It's really quite simple. You have your power supply with more connectors than you'll ever possibly need. Um, motherboard connectors. Grab my little tiny thing here. Um, fan connectors, which I can't imagine a situation where you'd need those. Passive, uh, passive cooling entirely. The low height SODEM slots. So that's going to be, it's clever, it's in the new standard from Intel and uh, it seems to be fine. It's harder to find a more expensive memory than DDR3, but there you go, it works. Um, here are a total of six SATA 3 gigabit connectors. We'd use as many as three. I can't see why you'd need six, but this board can fit in other chassis with, with more drive bays. Um, something interesting here is an upward facing USB connector. That's really wonderful for situations where you need to create a put in a boot drive on one of the teeny tiny uh, 16 gigabyte um, flash drives that you can get that fit that are about a quarter of an inch um, four or five millimeter taller than that and here it's a new feature there is one um, one adapter slot and previously this adapter card was an, an extra so it's a full 16-bit slot and the riser card enables you to attach a total of one uh, card in there and we've used these in particular for PBX applications where you want to put an analog card I'll note though note however that if you do put it in it's going to just barely, barely clear a three and a half inch drive. So to accom accommodate that, what we've used is instead of the Western Digital drives, which are always 25 millimeter plus or minus tall, we use the Seagate single platter drives that are um, shorter. They're, I think, 19 or 20 millimeters tall. Thank you.